absolutely warms my heart to see such a diverse group of people in industry and business coming together to talk about the very industry that sustains us all. So here I have a QR code for anyone that's interested in scanning it. What it will do is just link you to a PDF document, which is essentially a compilation of what I'd like to speak to while I'm here before you today. So uh, I'm a farmer, a multi-generational farmer. Our family farm dates back to 1910. We raise a wide variety of crops and cows and kids, but our kids are all growing up now and they're going off and blazing a trail in the world, uh, doing things that they love. So agriculture is very near and dear to my heart. I started back in 2005 doing agriculture education at our farm. I worked in early intervention and special education services, and I seen that there was an incredible disconnect between farm and the food that we eat every day and the understanding that children had of where it came from. So since 2005, we've done egg education at our farm. We've hosted over 22,000 kids and uh, that number just continues to go on and on. We're very fortunate to partner with all three school divisions to create a really student-led, exciting program for kids, which basically just gets them uh, some hands-on opportunity to explore agriculture. Beyond that, uh, in 2001, I was very, very fortunate to partner with Prairie Rose Public Schools to create the Irvin School Agriculture Discovery Center. And what this is, is the most amazing site. It's a 200 by 200 foot student-led farm, which is right on the playground of Irvin School. We raise a contingent of crops and livestock, and our children get the opportunity to experience the first-hand understanding of what it takes to get food on our table. So today I've been asked to speak a little bit to agriculture education and workforce development, and I feel like those two uh, topics are deeply, deeply uh, marriage. There's a marriage uh, for them. And some of the points that I'm going to make have already been made, but I feel like there's value in reiterating them because they are so important to the future of our industry. So if we start with why, when it comes to workforce and agriculture, why educating children about agriculture is important, it's for a number of reasons. Uh, the Canadian Agriculture Resource Council says that, by, uh, that in 2022, our sector lost 3.5 billion, with a B, dollars in sales. The Conference Board of Canada found that the ag sector has a 7.4% vacancy rate. We did hear that already. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business found that 74% of agribusiness owners, and many of you are here today and can probably testify that that number might be low at certain times of the year, those business owners work more hours to make up for the lack of staff. We talk lots in agriculture right now about mental health and the struggles that producers feel. Could this be one of the root causes of the problem? Because we just are spreading ourselves too thin and we face burnout. The average day, age of today's farmer is 58 years and 66% of producers do not have a succession plan. And by 2033, 40% of Canadian farm operators will retire. In the next 10 years, there's going to be an agriculture succession tsunami, and we need to get ready for it now. We need to feed over 9 billion people by 2050, and that's no small task. But in the province of Alberta, we're pretty good at handling the impossible. The skilled labor shortage dramatically limits the productivity and growth of the, of the Canadian food system. And it's important that we launch a collaborative effort to make agriculture attractive to young people because the future workforce is the future of our industry. And in agriculture, we know that farmers are less than 2% of the population. So this is a tough road to hoe, and it's not something that we can do alone. And that's why it's so par of paramount importance that government, business, and producers can work together to create a made in Alberta approach we need to launch a collaborative effort to make agriculture attractive to the youth in our province, and not just the rural youth, but the urban kids as well. A report from the Aspires Project at King's College in London found that children have fixed aspirations of what they want to be by as young as 14 years of age. So if we start to have discussions about careers in agriculture during COM or during a career day in grade 12, we've missed the boat. Those kids already have... Oh, Stop. Those kids already have decided where they're going to be and what they want to do. We need to provide children instead with experiential, hands-on learning opportunities 
that can develop an intrinsic motivation, motivation, a visceral desire to be part of our industry. We don't want people that just come and go as you know, they find something better, they head out. We need people who want to be in, in agriculture because they love being there. Developing intrinsic motivation happens by making agriculture fun and engaging, by challenging and supporting youth to achieve goals, by connecting agriculture to a larger purpose and value, and to create a sense of belonging and community. And that's the beauty that an agriculture education program can provide, is that sense of community. Mental health is a rampant issue in our school systems. Agriculture might just be a solution to help children work together as a team on a bigger, greater purpose. I think giving everyone purpose, we can all agree, is very important. At the Urban School Agriculture Discovery Center, a Prairie Rose Public Schools project, and I must say working with Prairie Rose, the best part about working with them is no is not in their vocabulary. They don't know how to use that word. They say how. And when you're someone with vision and desire and passion like I have, working with someone who empowers me to make decisions, make mistakes, and try things new, is it allows you to go somewhere pretty incredible. So we incorporate student-linked curriculum learning at an early age. We engage with teachers, parents, farmers, and the local business community to help our program succeed. It's not a one-man show. It's about working together. And I'm really proud to say that in two years of operation, we've raised over $100,000 to reinvest into our program. We've taken those dollars to develop our AgPro Career and Technology Foundation Option courses for our junior high school students. So this allows kids to see ag as a business and it reinforces their entrepreneurial spirit. We create value for their efforts and competitions and opportunities to demonstrate the knowledge that they've acquired. Our program is a balance of hands-on theory, hands-on and theory. Anyone that works in the agriculture industry knows you can't learn agriculture from a TV monitor. You have to be there, sleeves rolled up and hands involved. So our program uses a peer-to-peer -peer learning model. We rely on our 4-H kids to teach our kids that don't come from farms. And we really rely on subject matter experts for our students, seeing is believing. Having the opportunity to get to know local producers who are successful in the industry shows them what success looks like and shows them that it is possible. We embrace opportunities to bring technology to in attract young people. We know kids are kind of hardwired hard with, a, with a different gene where they can code and they can uh, work machines in a way that I never could even imagine. And we create awareness that agriculture is a business, that there's opportunities in value add, and we ask them to solve problems and create micro enterprises. Egg has an identity crisis and we need to create a change in thinking. And this is a shared responsibility, a challenge that I'm going to put out to all of you who are here today. We must make a concerted effort to improve our language to one that is more positive. In our Ag Pro courses, we're branding and packaging agriculture for a younger audience, getting them excited about our industry. The persistent images that we perpetuate, low wages, boring, backbreaking, work, 24-7, 365, that won't attract youth. We need to do better. The Urban School Agriculture Discovery Center is just an amazing program to grow agriculture. However, we're just scratching the surface. It's not simply a feel-good program or a nice to have. In my opinion, it's a must-do and something that we absolutely have to prioritize. We have a moral responsibility here in Alberta to grow more food using less land, fewer resources, and fewer farmers too. If we are to do this, we need to spend time with our youth to teach them about the benefits of agriculture and inspire them to be part of our industry so that they don't just think agriculture is a farmer in a tractor or a rancher on a horse riding across the range. There's many amazing careers in agriculture. And I believe that if we can build a talent pipeline that we can support a robust and thriving agriculture industry in the Medicine Hat region. And we can do that here. And that way, and this is the only way, in my opinion, that we're going to reach our full potential as Canada's premier food corridor.